This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Here with Triple S. <laughs> seen that shit coming, bro. What's good, Shane? What's up, bro? Play by the rules. Oh, my God. This nigga. You had a fan behind you? Yeah, big fan, big fan. Yeah, that's that's the fake Rasheem Jefferson? Yeah. You know. What you got going on today, yo? Uh, nah, I just got done uh, hills this morning. I'm about to go to the gym right now. Okay, so what you do, con conditioning in the morning and then yeah. boxing at what, nighttime? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Fight next? Yeah. Any date? May 8th. May 8th? Yeah. Where's it going to be at? South Philly, 2300 in the ring. Okay. Opponent or no? Know how that goes, man. Yeah. <laughs> we working though. We working on it. Hey, yo, how frustrating is that? Dudes constantly pulling out, um, having to find new guys last minute, prepare for different styles or whatnot. Uh, I, I really don't pre uh, prepare for no certain type of style, but it's frustrating to not have an opponent until the week of the fight. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And then it won't be the type of opponent that I want. But it's what I gotta take. But uh, the, the style-wise, I don't never prepare for no certain type of style. It's all about adjustments. What kind of opponent are you looking for? A, a good record opponent, or an okay record, or undefeated. I really, right now, I really want the undefeated guys. You fought an undefeated guy your your first fight, right? Yeah, he was and two and zero with two knockouts. You and you haven't been able to get another one in the ring. Nope. The next fight, I fought a two on one guy. Next fight, I fought a two, one, and one guy. Uh, then I fought a five and six. So it's like, then I just fought like a three and 19 for a last minute opponent because the undefeated guys kept saying up. You feel like right now you're in the realm of high risk, low reward? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the price is just safe for giving it up, but you know, it's just going to be an excuse. What weight is this fight going to be at? 26. 26? Hopefully, if we get it. You feel me? Because the last fight was supposed to be at 26, but it was at 130. How did your body feel at 130? I felt good. <laughs> I mean, that's why I said, listen, y'all want to see me at 30, y'all can see me at 30. All the 30 pounders that's tough. Right. This past week in the stable made of yours, Jerron in a spectacular knockout. What's your thoughts on that performance? I mean, I said what was going to happen. Everybody disagreed, the usual, but you know, we just keep working. Uh, spectacular performance, he looked great. So like I said, hopefully we get like a tight fight like Porter or somebody like that. Um, one of the bigger names, one of the guys that's trying to get a belt. Do you feel like he's gonna run into the same problem that you're running into now, but him on a higher level? He's been had that problem. So he's had that problem all his career? He's had that problem. Just like me in the beginning, he had that problem in the beginning too. That's why everybody's saying, oh, he ain't fight nobody. He can't, you can't force nobody to sign a contract. You feel me? Mm. He's been had that problem. And we're going to keep having it now, especially after that. Uh, like I said, some guys going to shut up. Some guys going to move on to the next guy. All the guys that were saying this guy was going to knock him out or he couldn't beat this guy, he stopped them now and they saying he was a nobody. Isn't, nobody never gonna be satisfied. Yo, it's crazy because I'm seeing in, in, in my comments, dudes is like, oh, well, what makes Lipinessa step up? And I'm like, come on, yo. Come on. I just, <laughs> you just showed me the comment with somebody said he was a Lamont Peterson 2.0. Like, what? That, that, that comment didn't even make sense, bro, at all. Yo, so is there anything you took from the fight, anything that he did that surprised you or? Nah, ain't nothing surprising. Like I said, I've been, me and Boots grew up together. Uh, I've been knew what he could do. And like I told y'all before, y'all gonna see more of what he can do. Not all of what he can do, but more. He showed y'all a little bit more, but hopefully he get another opponent that he can do more. He, he, in them six rounds, he just be warming up. He just be warming up. He don't even be getting started yet. He just be warming up. So once a guy is able to take him out of the sixth round, y'all gonna see what it is. Do you think anybody can make it past six? Like I said, the only type of guy that's gonna make it out of six is a guy like Porter. A guy, I don't even think Virgil or Tisha make it out of six. It's, it's, it's certain guys that'll make it out of six and that's the vets and the guys that have been world champions before. Crawford, uh, Pacquiao, uh, Earl Spence, 
Who's the tougher fight for Boots? For Boots, I feel like Spence is the toughest fight. Like I said before, I feel like Crawford is the best welterweight in the world, but I feel like Spence is the toughest fight. Pacquiao, I feel like Pacquiao, he on his way out. Uh, he older now, so I don't think he can be. I always respect the legend, but I don't think he'll be like no competition.